Okay, so for the second portion of this Google Sheets company expense exercise, um, I'm going to show you how to create a couple different graphs. Um, the first is going to be a pie chart or a circle graph that's going to take into account uh, the company's overhead and designate percentages to it. Um, then we're going to have a, a bar graph um, that consists of material costs and labor costs. And then um, there's going to be a, a versus graph, so client price versus the profit. And um, there are ways to this uh, Google Sheets automates a lot for you. And then you can go in and tweak the information. Um, so the automations are pretty good. Um, they they sort of they look at your your data and and kind of figure out what um, what you think that you would want in in for that range. So um, the first thing you you do is uh, click in the the data range that you're going to start off in to get an automated graph set up. So I'm going to click into overhead and then I'm going to click into insert and then chart. And right off the bat, it uh, just gives us a pie chart because it's looking at the data and and thinking that would be a good thing to, to do. Um, and it is. But uh, it, it's also taking into account the total here. So the 8,410, and then it's and then it's making everything 50% because the total is is being marked as 50%. So um, an easy way to get rid of that is to actually go into your your data range here and just um, instead of going to C8, right? So it's taking into account C2 all the way down to C8. So to get rid of this um, uh, C8, we're just going to bring it up to C7. C7. And um, now we have our overhead sort of percentages in a, in a pie chart form that looks pretty good. Um, and then there's a bunch of other, other customizations you can do, um, like the chart style. You can choose a background um, and feel free to sort of play around with that. Um, you can make it three dimensional. You can maximize the area. Um, so again, feel free to sort of play around with that. I kind of like this just sort of basic um, presentation. And um, I think it does a good job laying everything out. So I'm actually going to keep keep it as is. And um, so you can just hit that X and then your chart is actually a part of um, your data. So if you are to manipulate your data in any way, um, it should reflect in the chart. So if we move this to say 1200, notice that it automatically generates in the chart and it moves because again we're, we're dealing with variables right the the data range is a set of variables these cells so then it's just projecting those cells into a chart so that looks pretty good um, I'll, I'll keep it like that so that's that's a nice little pie chart for you um, so now we'll we'll get into here. I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit more. Bring it over here. Um, and now I just want to show you a bar graph um, that you can use with clients, material costs and labor costs. Um, and again, we're just going to click into the client. Um, this is amazing how it just kind of automates the ranges for you. Um, super helpful. Um, so then, so click into your client cell, insert chart. And um, so this, this one is 
automatically going into a pie chart, but we don't want that for this. We're actually going to use a bar bar graph for this one. And um, notice that it has the material costs, the labor costs, um, all of your clients down here. And the title of the graph is material costs and labor costs. So that's that's fine if that's what you're um, what you're trying to project. And um, again, you can shrink that down. And these these are all input um, sort of automatically when you select that um, clients. It kind of just it looks at it looks at the spreadsheet and it says, okay, well if you're selecting here, there's a space over here. Um, it looks like this is what you want. Um, but just to uh, just to make sure that you're only looking, we don't want the totals included in there. So again, we're going to go to that G8 and make it a G7. And then that gets rid of the totals. So now you're just looking directly at um, your material cost and your labor costs. So um, stacking is a nice feature too. Um, so if you do standard stacking, right, it stacks the um, the money totals, and it, it's like a it's a easy way to kind of see okay any outliers. So like this looks like about fifty fifty. It all looks, but then this three mm one is like oh um, that's what that's what graphs are for too to kind of like have numbers pop out at you because maybe when you're crunching a bunch of numbers you're not um, necessarily paying attention to like the the numbers versus themselves right so a, a graph is a great way to sort of be have things like highlight so like over here right in the in the pie chart it's like oh our employee benefits are it's huge it's 40 percent of our overhead um so like it, it, it's a it's an ability to keep things in check um and graphs are a great way to to do that so um i'm actually not going to do any any um so and just to show you the hundred percent, right? That that just makes everything um, in percentages. We don't want that. Uh, we'll we'll just we'll stick with the um, the two together. Um, I think that's a good way to sort of look look it over. And um, that so that's your material cost and labor cost. And again, you can customize some stuff in here. Uh, the titles. If you wanted to change this to, and say you wanted to put a um, and that's fine um, and then it just updates it automatically and again these these change right so if um, say you made a mistake and you put a couple extra zeros in there um, now like if you look at the chart you're like oh that doesn't make any sense what's going on oh I must have added a couple zeros in there and then um, it resets back to normal so it's um, charts are charts are a great way to sort of um, display uh, display data, but also to for um, when you're looking for errors too. So it, it, they they make it very obvious. Um, and not when you when you've been looking at numbers all day, maybe those numbers aren't jumping out at you that such like that a visual would. So um, the last graph we're gonna do is a client price uh, profit versus client price chart and um, that versus so when you see a versus graph so you'll you'll sometimes see um, like a velocity versus time or acceleration versus time in physics or um, there's a lot of there's a lot of verses um, all that means is it's why versus X so whatever whatever that first name is so um, in our in our graph we're gonna set up it's gonna be profit versus client price so our profit is gonna be along the y-axis and our client price is gonna be along the x-axis so that's what that versus means um, so when we click into client price we are going to insert a chart and um, it automatically sort of sets this up for us which is nice and what we want uh, but it's it's in a it's in a bar graph um, 
And typically, when you're doing versus graphs, um, you're gonna want you're gonna want it in like a linear or a scatter plot sort of um, setup. So we're gonna go in here, and um, you can either click on the scatter plot. Or you can click on the uh, the linear plot, and um, and this again can be uh, something to check, right? So when when you're looking over like lo large amounts of data, like this graph is something that you can look into, right? So client price, as the as what this graph is showing us, right? As the client price increases, our profit also increases right and that should be true right if that's not true then um, we're not doing something right if we're if we're charging if we're if we're charging someone a bunch of money um, for a product and we're not seeing that any of that money in profit then something's wrong with our model here so this is in fact a, a correct um, this is what we would want to see and again, that's a profit versus client price. And it's nice how these things just automatically um, come up with the information and you can edit the information. Uh, back when I was in school, it definitely did not do that. And we had to manually input all of our ranges. And um, so it was, it was different, um, but this is very nice. It's a nice feature that Google Sheets has. And um, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for three graphs. The first is of your overhead, the pie chart. The second is of material cost and labor, a bar, a bar graph. And then the last is a profit versus client price graph. Um, and that can be a scatter plot or a line as long as long as you can see that it's in fact going in the direction we want it to go in. Um, so, that's it for the this uh, company this uh, company expense exercise. Um, good luck and make sure to uh, ask me questions if you have any.